What makes you think we give a shit what's on your PC, idiot? <laughs> that sounded like a real song. So, am I recording? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, what well, start? So today I decided to do a little something a little different because um, ah, uh, I'm just on variety on my channel and as if it's not cluttered enough. I'm just going to put something else on it now. So, anyway, bear with me. Uh, today I'm going to do something a little different and. When I say a little different, I mean everyone on YouTube has pretty much done uh, one of these in some form. This is what's on my PC. And I see videos on YouTube like, hey, what's on my iPhone? What's on my phone? What's on my PlayStation? Stuff like this. And like, hey, what's on my PC? So here, let's see what's on my PC. I'm just going to show you everything that's on my computer. So let's just get into it. So first things first, my type of computer is, it's a Fujitsu. And here it is. Fujitsu run Windows 8.1, which is fucking brilliant, isn't it, everyone? Sense the sarcasm. Um, and oh shit, I'm gonna have to block that out. Oops, uh, that's my product key there, I'm gonna have to block that out, or censor that out. Anyway, so Windows 8.1, 2013, and uh, my processor or CPU is an Intel Core i3, um, uh, running at 250 GHz, um, 2.5 GHz. Uh, not in special, but it gets the job done. Uh, it has a 4 gig RAM, again, not in special, but it gets the job done. And a 64 bit operating system, and it's not a touch screen tank. Fuck. Um, but yeah, yeah, you're probably wondering, like, why do you have such a crappy low end computer? Well, it's not that bad, in fairness. Uh, it gets the job done, and I can't afford, like, some crazy powerful computer, such as an Alienware or anything like that, because. I'm poor, but yeah, I guess the job done. It's perfect for editing. And that's all I really need. Uh, Premiere barely ever crashes on it when I'm editing, and that's all I really need. And it runs games pretty well as well. So when I'm doing less nice plays and also, it gets the job done. I don't need a more powerful computer yet. I will someday though, because I want one. Uh, and it's only a laptop as well. So Jesus, um, it isn't even a, a desktop. It's a laptop, which is again just. I need to get a desktop because I want one. Desktops you pretty much need for editing. I can't really edit on a laptop. Ugh, I don't like it. But anyway, yeah, that's enough rambling about that. Um, so here we go. This is my oh great look at that. another Windows 8 feature which I got rid of with Windows 8. Look when I swipe the mouse here. Oh great, yeah. Well, when I swipe that mouse, a load of cluster fucker shit comes up, and I don't wouldn't mind. But I got rid of this on Windows 8, the original Windows 8. I just got rid of it because. Who wants it? But now it's back when I updated Windows 8.1. I installed everything again, I tried to get rid of it, and I can. If anyone knows how to get rid of this fucking swiping feature, please tell me, because it's doing my head in. Ah! <laughs> anyway, um. So yeah, so let's start off with uh, everything on our desktop. It's gonna be a lot of studio, fuck. Anyway, so here's my PS1 emulator, which is EPSXE. Um, and uh, we just see all the stuff we have here. I don't have much games on it yet, I'm, just, I'm copying a few. Oops. I'm copying a few games from discs uh, at the moment. Uh, Buzz Lightyear, uh, NK3, Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot. Uh, I copied Crash Bandicoot 2 from disc, Crash Bandicoot I got on an ISO. NK3 I copied from the disc, uh, Ape Escape I got an ISO. Buzz Lightyear I got from the disc, and Odd World I got from an ISO. Uh, I, I have a load of few Swan games that I want to copy to the computer so I can do less plays on them, so. Hooray! Um, uh, Pixel, Pixel on Image Converter, which is an NCH software, I believe, yes, and yeah, it just, um, it converts pictures into whatever file you want. So yeah, it does get the job done, it's great for free software. I don't know if it's free anymore, because NCH seems to be fucking not making their shit free. C Cleaner, because every computer has C Cleaner in the world. I mean, where do we have C Cleaner? EPSXE again, what's that there? Oh, that's, I probably copied it like an Egypt, uh, I'll just delete that, I guess. Ah, shit. Um, uh, Winra. Oh, now my desktop's all fucked up. Ah, I have OCD when it comes to desktops. I need to see. Oh, perfect. Uh, hold on. Oh, I have an idea. And now it looks perfect. Aha, even. Anyway, uh, where was I? A start menu way for Windows 8 because I need a start menu, a proper start menu, not the start menu we call Windows 8.1. That's not a start menu, that's a fucking extra button to the. To the Metro screen, uh, WinRare, because you need WinRare, and I love WinRare because it has this way here. It has uh, the longest free trial in history, 40 days. I've had this for a year and I can still use it, so brilliant. Well done, WinRare. Um, <coughs> command prompt, because I do a lot of shit in this when the computer fucks up. Uh, sound recorder, that's what I use to record my sound when I do Let's Plays. Uh, I don't use it, I'm not using it now because I'm just using the screen capture software. 
prefer recording the stream now because it's easier uh, to edit and all. I don't have to sync it all up. When I'm doing Let's Plays, I need to use this because I can't do that with the capture software because the sound is way too high in the game and I can't. He can't hear me when I'm talking, so that's why I have to use this. Really pain when editing, but yeah, it's not too bad. Can can I have that Mega Man 2 sound effect? I just captured this from uh, an emulator because I needed it for my intros. You'll hear now. Um, I need this for my intros, so I'm just getting the part. Uh, at the start of all my next plays, this is my intro music, so let's just listen. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Um, okay. Uh, so yeah, that's why I use uh, all my intro. This is my recycling bin. What's in my recycling bin? Oh, a load of things that I don't need. Great. Oh, that's exciting. Uh, PS2 emulator, which I'm still getting to run properly. Uh, I still haven't gotten this work working perfectly yet. It's running very. It can run, but it runs slow, and uh, it, the textures and everything are all crazy. Yeah. Uh, uh, let me show you actually. So um. <coughs> I just run and see that. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, oh fuck! Do I even have any ISOs? Did I copy an ISO? Hold on. I don't know if I copied any PS2 ISOs yet. Uh, where I usually make a folder called Games, and this time I think oh BIOS. Yes. Okay. Oh, I have not made any. Great. Anyway, um, no. So uh, I won't show you that today. Uh, I might show a tutorial when I get working because it's pretty fucking pain. It's a very big pain. Uh, Prism. What is pre Oh, it's a file converter. I don't actually know what that is. Hold on. Um, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> I must have got it with video pad and I got it or fixed line or something because I have no idea what the fuck that is. Google Chrome was just my backup to Firefox. So I barely ever use it because Firefox is the best in my opinion. Firefox is my main um, browser. I just find Firefox the most convenient to use. Uh, it has all the flu uh, all the add-ons and all which are just awesome. Uh, I know Google Chrome has them too, but I just prefer Firefox overall. Uh, U-Torrent, because everyone has U-Torrent, if you want to download pirate copied, or not pirate copied, um, if you want to download fucking illegal software, and there you have U-Torrent there. Um, <coughs> do oh, lovely belch. Uh, document shortcut, a uh, document shortcut, how exciting. Spotify, uh, Spotify, yeah, everyone has Spotify. Oh, yeah, this is just the normal crappy Spotify, which they've made shit now, because the free version is cluttered with ads, and like, what is it, 30 hours a week, which is shy, but, uh, I, I barely use it anyway, I just download mp3s off YouTube, because I don't pay for music, I don't pay for anything pretty much, because I'm a pirate and bastard, I really should support people, but, I don't, only thing I pay for is games, really, because I want to support developers, but that's about it, uh, Liquid Storybinder, that's, um, let me show you, actually, this is like a screenwriting software, I still haven't really used it much, um, I barely ever use it actually, I usually just use Warpad. This I only use if there's a lot of dialogue and I need to like sort it around and stuff. But yeah, this is what you use for, um, I think it's professional, I think this is what like, people use to write screenplays and all that. So yeah, it's pretty cool software. Um, if you're looking for screenplay writing software, that's free. Uh, yeah, I'd get that. Universal USB installer for installing Ubuntu and make Ubuntu bootable or... Yeah, Ubuntu or any um, uh, Linux distributions um, uh, bootable on your PC, uh, or you put on a USB and it's bootable off that USB on any PC, so you can install Ubuntu on your computer or Linux on your computer or anything like that. Uh, it's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, let me just show you how it works. So you get your, so you have a ISO of uh, Ubuntu. So yeah, I just have that, and uh, you browse, get your ISO. Uh, blah blah blah. So yeah, that's my ISO, whatever. Um, and yeah. Yeah, you just uh, click create. Uh, you first of all, you have to have a formatted USB with uh, over four gigs, I think, and then just create. And then you can boot fucking Linux off your USB stick. You can either install it, uh, do dual boot, install it, or you can just whatever. Um, I I do have a Ubuntu on this computer. It's uh, like a backup for Windows if Windows ever crashes on me. So yeah, this go always good to have a backup OS. Fast. Sorry about that. I just clicked on fast down. I what the hell? Did I just? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I, I just clicked on Fast Stone there, that's why everything went mad. Uh, yeah, Fast Stone is what I'm using to record my screen, and it is by far the best screen capture software I've used so far. Better than Bandicam than any of them, and it's not really well known, so yeah. FL Studio 11, which is a music uh, making software. Uh, I'm still rocking around how to use it. It's, um, it's, I need to get my head around it already. It's only the demo version, I'll get the full version soon. But I want to start making music for my videos, and 
yeah, I need to figure out really how to work around it. Uh, I, I kind of not. I kind of have like a simple idea, but I don't know any of the crazy stuff. So let me just go to scores here. It's gonna make a let's make some feckin' noise here. Crazy noise. If anything works for me, yeah, come on. Ah, there are oh, patterns. Here we go. Ah, come on. Oh, randomness. Yeah, I like randomness. So. Oh yeah. Look, that's on I made in like three seconds. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, uh, the X one is up here. It's very confusing. Um, it's like fucking. It's like that go west all over again. Oh fuck off! Once you buy it, I don't want to buy it. Um, Bulgard, which is uh, nearly up by it, actually. Uh, Bulgard, probably the best damn uh, protection software uh, you can get out there. Uh, but I love it. Very good. I'm definitely renewing it when I get it. Back, uh, I'll get a uh, AVG or is it a vast? I think it's a vast. I'll get a vast and this together, so my computer's semi-protected because you can never fully protect your computer. Uh, fucking hell. Uh, what the hell is this? Uh, a. I don't even know what that is. An OB Acrobat file, anyway. Um, a uh, universal ASO driver for RW. Oh, must be something to do with Premiere, probably update or something. Um, for the. Stand drivers. Uh, where are we? Oh yeah, uh, WordPad or not WordPad? Microsoft Word 2013, which is bull fucking shit. Uh, I got this on a torrent. Probably get. I probably fucking uh, get. I probably that's probably what I get for getting this on a torrent. But uh, it, 13 is shit. Get the oh, get 2010. It's by far the best Microsoft Word out there or earlier because 2013 is optimized for Windows 8 and it's fucking bullshit and I hate it. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I got home Microsoft Office bundle and it's just shit. I'm sorry. It's just you can barely type on it when I'm fucking fucking up everything every second. Uh, I don't want to open it. Go away. But yeah, a PSP emulator which I haven't actually tried out yet. I just got it. Um, I need to get uh, some ISOs. I want to get the Daxter ISO and play that because I love that game so much. I might do a let's play on Daxter when I get the PSP emulator up and running, which should be easy enough. Can't be nearly as bad as PS2. Uh, I care that recovery software, which is actually very fucking useful. Um, this is the software you can possibly get in the world ever. Um, you you can pretty much say I say you format your SD or anything, and and like you can't get your files anywhere. Get this software, you will get your files back. I'm telling you, I might do a tutorial on this one day. You will get. Every single thing you deleted back if you use this software and do a deep scan recovery. Because, oh my god, I was so amazed. My sister deleted, accidentally formatted her SD. She thought it was another SD and she formatted that. She needed space. And it was run SD and she needed all the stuff and all. So she's like, oh god, I'm fucked. I'm fucking I'm like, give me that. I might be able to fix it up. I got eye care that recovery. I fixed it up and she uh, punched me in the face because that's what she does because my sister <laughs> hates me. Uh, but. Yeah, I got this stuff back for her, and yeah, that was a close call because that was important stuff on that SD. Uh, so yeah, this is this is a lifesaver. You get it on your computer because it is a lifesaver, and it'll come in handy one day. You will need it one day, trust me. Um, so yeah, where are we? CV. Uh, let's see my CV. If I want a job, uh, 3D Vision Photo Viewer, uh, which you get with Windows 8.1, which I haven't even looked at yet. Probably just a stupid photo viewer. Oh, just some special script. Oh, that's nice. I still have that. I usually delete my scripts. I probably shouldn't, should I? Uh, go away. Just copy Microsoft. Sorry. Oh yeah, I guess because it's a torrent, and I've deleted KMS ILD. Um, uh, yeah, this is just the script for the hundred subscriber special, and it looks pretty much the exact same as the way it turned out, which barely ever happens, and I'm very happy about that. As you see, everyone's shouting bullshit. Um, say man, don't feed us this place of shit, man. Yeah, yeah, this all creator. Oh, okay, you want to shoot? You really want it? I'm an easy freak there. Yep, this is pretty much the exact same as the way the video turned out. So, anyway, I'm talking like 90 miles an hour here. Oh well. Um, Win next DVD Copy Pro, which is what I got for free off them lads to do the review. And yeah, it's fucking awesome software. Very awesome software. Um, it works very well, and I got it for free. So, ha, and you can get it for free too with a link down in the description I'm putting here. Because I think that still valid you just get it free and it works copy all the dvds you want um as a snes emulator super nintendo emulator uh, works perfectly it's great uh, best out there uh zanes is called if you want a good uh, snes emulator and this is one you got you gotta get uh handbrake which is a lifesaver in every aspect of the way Definitely the best uh, video converter out there. Well, not video converter, video. Hold on, I'm gonna change my microphone a bit here, and it's gonna sound like shit. So, ah, uh oh, hello, hello. Yeah, hopefully you can still hear me. Uh, sorry about that. My 
Uh, that probably sounded horrible. So yeah, uh, Handbrake is the best software in the world. Well, you know what I mean. It's awesome. It's it works well. Say you have um, uh, you're doing let's play and your audio is all out of sync and all. This is only one thing you can do. Say your audio is all out of sync, and um, and you 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 are oh my god, what the fuck was that? But um. Say your audio is all out of sync of the way you're playing the game, like you say, oh, and like an hour later it goes, oh, uh, this can fix that, uh, because it, it makes the frame rate constant, you still go to the video and you go, um, constant frame rate, and that gets rid of the variable frame rate and it syncs everything up perfectly. What else is new, and this is what I got this for, is once you render a video and it's like a massive 3 gig file size or something, so, like, say my let's plays are usually very long, they're like 40 minutes a piece. And uh, they're, they're like 2 gigs if I want to render them in HD. And um, I cannot upload that. My internet. I got new internet and it's working grand. But, um. Uh, what was I saying? I just lost my frame of time. Yeah. But, like, uh, uploading a 2 gig file will take absolutely years if you try and upload it. So, what I can do is I can just get a video here. Let's just get this redone intro here. Uh, you just drag it in or just open it with the source. Uh, you, you just call us something, blah 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 blah. And then you press, you, then you go around and mess around with the settings. And you can make a 2 gig file. I'm not messing you. You can make a 2 gig by file at 100 megs if you do it right. I have a, a preset here, YouTube 720 PHD. And it keeps it in HD and everything. It's fucking incredible. It, it does uh, sacrifice a tiny bit of frame rate. But what the hell are you. It doesn't matter because you can barely notice it and. My god, it works perfectly and it's such a lifesaver. I mean, ah, you can upload videos so much faster than that. Uh, I talk about Handbrake right too much. Adobe Premiere, which is my editing software, which I love so much. Um, by far the best editing software I've ever used. I've used pretty much all of the ones out there other than Final Cut Pro, which Final Cut Pro is supposed to be the best actually, but I don't have a Mac to try it out, so. Anyway, uh, this is Pre Adobe Premiere, which is by far the best. Uh, software, uh, editing software out there, in my opinion. I've used Sony Vegas, I've used Windows Movie Maker, <laughs> I've used uh, VideoPad, and I've used, uh, what's the other one, Magix. Uh, ah, this is by far the best. Uh, this is just, uh, let's just open some random things. So this is like uh, Insane Return. This is the project file for Insane Return here, which is loading up. Just give you a little render the software here. Uh, yeah, just cancel this. I deleted all the files, that's why. Made a bit slow here, okay. And uh, yeah, this is just, it, it's just awesome software. You can do anything on it. And uh, I barely have to use After Effects now because you can pretty much put all the effects on with this. But I do have to use After Effects sometimes, and that's what I'm going to show you now. So, um, no, no, oh Jesus, no. Uh, After Effects, uh, which, here we go, After Effects, which I barely use. I do use if I want to make, for example, this intro here now. I made this in After Effects, and uh, yeah, it works very well actually. Um, I want to redo this though. I want to make this fully 3D, like the Kihidi Productions. So I want to change the font on that and make it all fully 3D, which I'm gonna do eventually. I just don't have the time now. Uh, yes, yeah, After Effects, uh, and also if I want to do like other crazy effects, which uh, I still am working around how to use the software. I've had it for like six months now, and I still don't know everything about it, which is a good thing, I guess. But anyway, yeah, uh, Oracle VM Virtual Box, which you can have virtual OS's on your system, which is cool. And um, I usually like if I before I got this before I got Ubuntu installed, because I wanted to test out other OS's uh, to see what I want as my secondary OS in case Windows ever dies and as a backup OS. And yeah, this is very good. Reinstall required. Oh, great! I probably deleted it. But anyway, yeah. Or if you want to run like uh, two operating systems on your uh, Computer at the same time, get VMware and get an uh, ISO of your of your OS you want to get, and uh, you can run it. And Jesus Christ, it runs pretty good. Uh, Burnerware free, which is very cool. Uh, this uh, hold on, sorry. You can run ISOs with it. It's a lot like Windex DVD Pro, except it's free. And um, and uh, good God, my snotty nose. Um, <laughs> you can. You can do pretty much anything on it. You can burn discs, you can burn Blu-rays, you can make a boot disc, like a bootable disc for an OS or something. A custom disc, uh, or a CD, MP3 disc, a DVD, uh, you can burn ISOs and all that, which is very handy, and you can erase a whole disc and everything like that. So yeah, very good. Uh, it does pretty much the exact same thing as Winx Pro. 
Host Act, that's my backup for host because I have loaded horns and I don't want my host to get fucked up. Uh, Flickster, which just is movies and all. And all that. Ugh. Every time I try and do my video, my nose messes up on me anyway. And why do I click on Flickster anyway? Uh, iFran View, which is. Oh, go away. Let's just wait for this to load up. Hello. 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 Hello there. Oh, shut up. Go away. Go away. Go away. Ah, thank you. Um, so, iFran View, which is. They say it, and it can do so much more. They advertise it as like an image. An image. Like a. Image editor, it's so much more. Um, you can make gifs, you can do lots, you could even edit vid. No, you can. Uh, I'm thinking of Photoshop, sorry. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is a very good software. It's like um, you can view any type, uh, pretty much any type of uh, picture file whatsoever, and uh, it's actually very powerful software. Uh, it's very, I can't really explain it here, um, but it is very good. Yeah, you can make slideshows, everything, uh, make gifs, and all that if that's your thing. So yeah, iframe view is very good software. Uh, Photoshop again. Uh, everyone has Photoshop. Uh, I don't really need to explain this much. Uh, Photoshop, it's Photoshop. You can edit pictures on it, make stuff. Airplane cockpit, that's like stock footage from green screen effects, which I used in my video, as you'll see here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hello, green screen effects. You're awesome. Yeah, this is like the plane that I use in the video. Uh, and the Sasuke video. Uh, no, the insane randomness video. Yeah, uh, PSS Flex, which is able to rip. Um, this is able to. It has the actual Mac. It has like Mac things. That's cool. Uh, but it has. Um, you're able to rip uh, audio from PS2 games and all that stuff, which is very cool. But it barely works. Uh, only for very. Only for PSS files and mp mpeg2 files and wav files which pretty much makes no sense because no ps2 games use mpeg2 or wav files pss is really the only one um but yeah uh it does work for pss files so yeah uh other than that though it's pretty useless uh, audacity because everyone has audacity is uh probably the best audio free audio editor out there because it's awesome and it's free and you can do anything on it so yeah it's very good um VLC Media Player, the best media player out there. Um, it's uh, ten times better than Windows Media Player, and it does the job so much better than anything else. Uh, yeah, probably the most used media player, and uh, for good reason, because it's the best. Uh, Doom Tree, which I never finished because I can't play it. <laughs> I cannot use a keyboard to play games, and uh, you need to use a keyboard for Doom Tree. You yeah, probably able to get a plug in to use a controller and all, but I'm too lazy to do that. But I might come back to it one day, but not in the f not in the foreseeable future. Uh, snap, what the hell is that snap there? I don't even know that snap. Oh, that's like Fireman Sam for that Fireman Sam video I made. MF Audio, so this is more uh, audio ripper. Uh, <coughs> For PS2 games, since I love getting the audio for PS2 games, I know I can just download it for from YouTube and stuff, but I, I'd rather get it myself. And it works for MF files. That's about it, though, because again, I can't get files to work on everything. Um, it's very hard ripping for shit for PS2 games. Very fucking annoying. Anyway, uh, this stuff can be deleted. Uh, it's just uh, uh, peak files for Adobe Premiere. Uh, that's not read on intro. I already showed a debut. Which is uh, screen capture software. It's not really that good though. It's yeah, you can't record sound or anything on it, and it compresses the thing very much a lot. Uh, Histocom, which is actually cool. It's a game and <coughs> made by uh, the guy that was always first timer. Uh, a great channel, by the way. Fun to check it out. And uh, it's pretty much go around. Um, you go back in time, and you go. You have you start with Windows 95, and you go all the way back up to Windows X, Windows Vista, and like you're a hacker and all. It's a cool game, man. Get, have a look at it, cause it's hard to explain, but it's very cool. NES emulator, and by NES emulator is NES emulator is Nestopia because it's the best. Again, uh, it runs pretty much perfectly, and pretty much runs every game. Uh, ROMs, again, you forgot all my ROMs here. Action 52, which I'm going to get to. Uh, get back to it. Batman, Bucky O'Hare, here you can have a look at all these yourself. Uh, I need to get much more because I love them in the NES so much. Ah, lovely stock, lovely, isn't it? Yeah, you have to do Poker Stars. I never used Poker Stars in my life. I don't know why the fuck that's there. What the hell is Poker Stars in there? What the fuck? I don't even remember ever getting that in my life. Ah, yes, 
my brother was here one day and he wanted to play poker, so we just downloaded this and got it and played poker. I hope to God doesn't have fucking malware on it. Jesus Christ, I better check that. I better send that to Bulgard. Uh, scan with Bulgard. So, all well, that's scanning. Uh, yes, hold on. Bulgard, okay, good. So, uh, there are just some pictures. Skype, because everyone has Skype. Um, Sega Emulator, which is uh, uh, K Fusion. And K Fusion uh, emulates Master System, Game Gear, Genesis, Sega CD, uh, Sega CD, and. Yeah, Sega CD, um, oh, uh, uh, Genesis Mega Drive 32X, uh, uh, renders, it emulates all of them, and it, re it emulates them pretty perfectly, and it is great software altogether, definitely the best uh, Sega emulator out there, and it's brilliant, uh, I'll give you a look at all my ROMs here again, uh, the Mega Drive is probably my, after the PS2, the Mega Drive is my favourite system of all time, I just fucking love that thing. Uh, Firefox, which is my main browser, because I love it so much. Mocha for After Effects, for cleaning up effects. Um, this pretty much cleans up all the effects you make in After Effects, like all the rough edges and all. Really professional. I've never pretty much used it in my life, because uh, that's really just for all the professionals, like make the effects perfect for like in big movies and all that. Uh, Toshiba, that's for my camera. It's very shit. Uh, Software, blah blah, just upload videos to YouTube. How? Oh, because I can't do that. Uh, computer, well, this is my computer. Um, <coughs> oh, holy fuck, look at that OS drive. Look at that, how full that is. Good thing I have a driver solder. Uh, I have a dual, uh, I have a dual hard drive, which is very nice. Uh, so uh, that saved my life because I have no fucking space on the OS drive left. I actually need to clean this up a bit. Delete files, delete the cache, and all that because god, that's full and that's going to slow down my computer considerably. Um, SD is my SD card drivers, uh, which is thank God I have that. And it's load of stuff, videos, blah blah blah, stock footage, which I need for oh fuck, there we go. Uh, stock footage, which I need, um, which I need for my videos. So I'll just show you some of the stock footage actually. I downloaded a whole file of these, and half of them barely work because they were supposed to be keyed out, and of course they weren't keyed out, and I have to key them all out myself. But the team is they're in black, and I can't key out black. Because then it just messes up the rest of the second video, so that's fucking annoying. I need to get loading more stock footage, but yeah. A lot of it from, is from green screen effects and best green screen. Then guys are awesome, they touch a good effects and they, they save me a load of times so I need effects for my videos, so yeah. Um, videos, let's have a look at all my videos. Uh, God, look at all these fucking audio pack files. Crazy. I just delete load of these. Um, yeah, so. These are all my videos. Uh, I usually delete my videos, and I because I have no space in my computer, and I don't want to slow down my computer. Um, so I know that's very annoying because I'd love to archive all my videos, all the videos I make, which they do archive in um, YouTube, I guess. But you can never trust YouTube because they can delete a video in a second. And I also want to have all my raw files, but I can't fit all my SDs. I have like four SDs, and they're all full. <laughs> so I, I can't store them all. I need to reuse my SDs, or I'll be bankrupt. Like so. Um, yeah, it's very annoying. I'd love to archive all my footage. I, I should get a terabyte hard drive one day and just store all my footage on that. First one, make like videos someday with out with like behind the scenes videos and stuff and how I like do my videos and all, which I will do one day. Um, if I ever get popular. And yeah, so this is just a load of videos I have. Jesus Christ, that's a lot. But yeah, uh, programs, which is these are not all my programs. Obviously, these just look holy shit. Look at all that Adobe stuff. Tree mobile Wi-Fi, I can fucking delete that with pride now, because I don't want tree broadband anymore. Uh, what's this, 7.00? I have no idea, I don't want to touch it, because it's load DLL files, and that will fuck up everything. Uh, Adobe, so just load Adobe stuff, just the patch files, After Effects, Bridge, Bridge, Bridge. Um, how many Bridge? Oh yeah, it's 64 bit into CS6. Why do I have CS5 as well, I don't understand. Uh, uh, device central, I uh, gotta look at all that Adobe, Adobe story for that sort of screenplay software, which I don't like though, it's not really laid out properly. Uh, Premiere Pro, Cam Studio, what the fuck is Cam Studio doing there? Sorry, I, what the hell is this? Yeah, I might delete that. <laughs> um, I don't even know what's doing there. Um, I, I, it's uninstalled, it's probably just the files that this is their NCH software, load NCH software, blah blah blah, yeah yeah yeah, look at all that. Um, so, yeah, here's my start menu, which shouldn't be on Windows 8, but I have it anyway, because Windows 8 are bastards. 
and um, yeah, so let's just load other stuff, uh, bridge and all that, uh, all programs, come on, there we go, uh, camera, oh, let me show you the metro screen then, I hate going to this fucking thing, but let's show you, um, where are we, I hope this is recording this, is it, hold on, yeah, it's recording, but I don't know if it's recording the metro screen, we'll soon see, I guess, when I'm editing, I'll see, but yeah, okay, this is not the metro screen, how do I get to the actual metro screen, aha, there we go. No, that's not the metro screen, you fuck. Ah! And either is that. Fuck you, you know, Zay. You never do anything I want. Ugh. Oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, I hate Windows 8. Good God, I hate it. So, Internet Explorer, because everyone uses Internet Explorer and everything, and of course, it's fucked now. And everyone that uses Internet Explorer is fucked due to that fucking hack in it. Great, well done. Uh, photos, uh, store, Windows Store, which I think they have free games now. I might have a look at that one day. Music, which I never use. Video, which I never use. Camera, which I never use. Games, which I never use because I can just get it on my desktop. Uh, power, DVD, mobile, nope, never use. UCAM is fucking bullshit, never use. Uh, I got that out of my computer though, so I can't really blame Windows out in that. Um, I get that with my computer, Fujitsu, I think. I just load that apps that I got with it. So yeah, a nice game with, with their shit software so uh was firefox firefox super chrome why do i have two firefox i don't know uh windows live photo gallery you see this is all closer because i never fucking look at this metro screen ever in my life ever ever look at this metro screen ever I many times i said ever but i just hate it it's just ugly and it's made for touch screens and i fucking hate touch screens um but yeah here we have a load of shit here uh health and fitness what the hell i'm on a computer i don't want to do health and fitness on a fucking computer food and drink what is this bullshit oh let's get out here out here too and yeah god almighty so that's pretty much the video Um, i don't really know what else to show you other than all my personal data because everyone wants to see that oh i want to show you my graphics card actually so yeah the video i have a nvidia geoforce Graphics card, which is fucking annoying because it's incompatible with EPSXE and a load of emulators, but there there is workarounds now with the updates, so that's good. But um, yeah, it's it does the job well and it it works for Premiere and everything, so it makes everything faster and nicer and smoother. So it's a it's a pretty nice um uh graphics card. It's a cheap graphics card, of course, but it gets the job done, I guess. And it's not the best in the world, but it does the job. So yeah. Um, if, uh, let's see the files. I configured it already. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Probably 90 miles an hour talking, you couldn't understand me, and Robbie born as fuck and all that. But that's pretty much it. Um, so thanks everyone for watching. And what did I just Always click? Scan this section. Oh great, my computer's talking to me. Shut up. Shut up, narrator. Anyway, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I pretty much just showed you my desktop, not my whole computer here, because it'll take me forever to show you my whole computer, but anyway, yeah, so thanks for watching, lads, and good luck. How do I stop this thing? Oh yes, F11. Bye!